Now we are actually going to find the area of a triangle. So the formula that you'll see if you just were given a formula sheet looks like this. You might be saying, what in the world is that talking about? It's saying one half, oops, I did it again, goodness. One half times the base times the height. That's an H. Okay, but it's hard to multiply by one half, especially if we have a calcul if you don't have a calculator, even on a calculator, it can be tricky. So what you're really doing is you're taking the base times the height and you're dividing it in half, dividing it by two. Because imagine I have a triangle that has a right angle, it's really just half of the rectangle that it's inside of. If you don't believe me, get a piece of paper and I can show you how it works. But this triangle right here is half the rectangle. Or if I had any type of triangle, if I put it inside a rectangle, the triangle will always be half of the area. So that's why we can do the base times the height and divide it by two because we're just finding half of the rectangle. And that equals the triangle, okay? So let's do some examples. So this one is a one that's quite straightforward. Not all of them will be quite so straightforward. So I could say, okay, if this is the base, then this is the height because they form a right angle or vice versa. But I need to do 23 times 15. And then once I get my answer, I need to divide by 2. So you can use a calculator, no problem. Hopefully, I think you should be able to see that. Whoa, you can definitely see that. There we go. We'll do 23 times 15. 345 divided by 2. 172.5. So we got 345, we divided it by 2, and that's 172.5. So that is my area, and we're in centimeters, so it'd be centimeters squared. That's how many squares it would take to cover that triangle. Because again, the whole rectangle, length times width, is 345, but we just cut it in half and got the triangle. Let's look at another example. This one is three numbers, so we have to figure out which numbers we want to use because we're not using all three. First, we need to find the two sides that form a right angle. Well, I see this right angle notation right there, so that tells me, okay, this is the base and that's the height. Because if I used the nine as my base, I don't know how tall the triangle is if that's the base. So I have to use 12 and 4. So I do 12 times 4, that's 48, and if you didn't know that, you can always use a calculator, divided by 2 equals 24. Because again, if I were to put this inside a little rectangle, 12 times 4, 48 would be the whole rectangle, the triangle is half of that. Make sure you have this down so that when you're looking back at your notes, you can see, okay, first we multiplied the base and the height, then we divided by two. One more example. Again, we have three numbers, so we have to figure out which numbers to use. Now you might say, okay, I wanna use five, but then we don't know how tall the triangle is that way, so we can't use five as our base. However, I do see this um, right angle right there, so I can say, okay, the part that's on the triangle is my base, the height that goes along with that is my height, so seven and four are the numbers I'm going to use. I need to multiply. Seven times four, 
That gives me 28. 28 divided by 2 equals 14. I'll say it again. If I were to put it inside a rectangle that was 7 by 4, this triangle would be half of that rectangle. That is why the formula is what it is. I'm always here to help. Make sure you have this written down so you have something to look back at. And good luck.